Reasons to get high. Now, before you call me a weed propagandist, this video isn't gonna be on some number 15. You woke up in the morning, or afternoon, or evening. Fuck it, you're awake. Time to get obliterated. Instead, we are gonna be looking at actual solid reasons and situations you'll find yourself in, in which getting high will allow you to get and enjoy the full relaxed and faded effect of the za. Cause believe it or not, depending on your mindset, where you are and when you do it, it has a massive effect on if the high will have you laughing and chuckling or tweaking and suffering. Anyway, let's get it started with the most common good reason to get faded and that is, you've had a great productive day and are ready to relax and unwind. I know this one might seem obvious to some, but believe me, it's not for a lot of people, cause as we know, the biggest debuff a lot of daily smokers experience is something called za anxiety, which is like normal anxiety, but it just finished its training arc with King Kai and went Kaioken times 10 on your ass. And if you watch some of my other videos, you'd know that weed is just an amplifier of your already existing thoughts and feelings, so if you smoke up at a time where you got a bunch of unfinished business, the za has a very high chance of making you anxious, kinda like when legit loses his vape. Yo, bro, this shit's an emergency. You see my vape? I know that bitch is here somewhere. Nah, sorry bro, I haven't seen it. You straight! You straight! Just give me a couple hits off yours, we're good. I would, but I don't have one anymore. I, I quit a couple weeks back. My fucking ass you did, bro. I don't care if that shit burnt, just let me take a hit off that bitch. Nah, bro, I swear. I've been off it for a while now. It, it was tough, but... Man, where's my vape at, bro? F Hey, what, what, what you doing, bro? I know your ass has a vape. Trying to hide that from me. Empty your pockets, buddy. Basically, old unfinished business you have has a very high chance of turning into anxiety once you smoke that doozy. And the whole point of getting lit is to chill out and relax, not stress over your shit that you should have finished before lighting up, brah. Keep in mind, though, this usually only happens to people who actually have goals in life and something to be anxious about. So if you've never got an anxiety like this and smoke regularly, then either you only ever blaze up at the perfect time or uh might wanna you know maybe sell the ps5 and put down the doritos for a while anyway next reason is your mia aka sick or injured for a while man do i hate being hobbled to the point i turn into a couch potato and have to endure the torture watching my friends go on adventures from afar like i was professor x watching my x-men have all the fun but there is a secret upside to this as well because you see usually you can't smoke up all day while doing the bare minimum and expect to actually enjoy your high because of the aforementioned za anxiety that accompanies it. But when you've been forcefully demoted to local crippled man and the world along with your doctor is telling you to take a chill for a while, an opportunity comparable only to a childhood sick day emerges. Watch YouTube, play video games, and overall be a useless sack of potatoes all while not feeling bad about it and staying heavily heavily medicated. There is one annoying issue that always accompanies you when you smoke too much of the Lord's Loud, and that of course is dry mouth. Thankfully, Kai and Mouth Spray is here to solve exactly that. They were kind enough to send me a couple bottles and I've been using it for a week now. Before when my mouth turned dry like the Sahara, I just jugged a bunch of water, but we all know that shit does nothing and just leaves your belly jiggling like Homer Simpson. Now though, instead, I can just spray some of that sweet minty tasting Kai spray in my mouth and I'm good. Although so keep in mind, this isn't some magic forever cure, so after spraying, your mouth might turn dry again in 5-10 to 10 minutes, but the best part about Kain is that it's made with all natural ingredients and tastes great, so you can spray as much as you want and keep hydrating your mouth without jugging a gallon of water and becoming immobilized. All in all, it's a great product to have if you blaze up regularly like I do, cause before I got dry mouth, it made my high less enjoyable, but now, I don't really even mind, cause it just basically means I get to spray some of that great minty tasting Kain for a bit and I'm good to go. So if you want to eliminate the most common problem us grass smokers have, click the link in the description or pinned comment to get a limited time 40% off. And if you use my code CBD15, you can get an additional 15% off on top of that, which is one hell of a deal. But now, back to the video. Cause I don't know about you, but in a situation where there is nothing to keep me sane except video games, movies, and my phone, why would I not be blasted 24-7? And the best part about it is, if you're dealing with a nasty injury, like I have for the past two weeks, the Zaza can be used as a substitute for the damn opioid drugs these motherfucking doctors be prescribing you for the pain. I broke my pelvis and one of my vertebrae and I was prescribed codeine. Yeah, the thing SoundCloud rappers be sipping, along with some other hardcore
or meds. So since I know popping pills all day for two weeks can't be much worse than smoking weed, I just chose the one that also makes being crippled a bit more enjoyable. But you know, obviously I'm not a doctor, so don't be just listening to what I say. Every injury is different and what worked for me might not for you. Anyway, next reason. You're hanging out with friends and don't want to drink and be hungover the next day. Would you believe me if I told you smoking weed is actually enjoyable at parties? I think some of you would, but the majority probably wouldn't. And there's a couple reasons for that. A big one that you gotta fix yourself would be that you get anxious when you're high around new people. But the other one I've heard countless times is that being high just makes me want to sit on the couch the whole time. And that can be true, but all you gotta do for that is fight the urge to be lazy. Because I'm telling you from personal experience, one of the funnest high activities by far is blazing up with a friend at a party where everybody else is hammered. I just can't help but notice that everybody drunk turns into NPCs. I be sitting on the couch with the homie Salamander watching all these dudes doing their free assigned activities on some pal world shit. I know this might make me look look like a dick, but this one time we got high at this house party and chose this one alpha chat guy to just observe, and I kid you not, dude was like a Terraria villager, rotating between slamming shots with his friends, trying to spit game to the hoes, and comparing dick sizes with other dudes. Ugh, that was some strong stuff. Damn. Yo guys, <laughs> check out the Rizzler. Hey, what's up, beautiful? <laughs> Having fun? Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to find my friend, uh, bye. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Hey, Tony! Let's arm wrestle! Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like doing those three things is unfun. All I'm trying to say is that when you're high, you realize the ridiculousness of what a party actually is and can just observe it with your high friend and banter away. But there is a reason that trumps all others, a situation where it's near impossible to not get the full enjoyment of the gas, the best bang for buck you're gonna get when you trade a small percentage of your lung capacity and cardiovascular health for the fade. And that's of course, you have the CBD bro bomb. Okay, <laughs> it's actually, you plan to smoke such a head for a completely free day. I think some of you might have expected something a bit more extravagant, uh, a bit more, I don't know, eye-opening. But no, unfortunately, there is no magic. Number one, your homie discovered a crashed alien ship from which gained the knowledge of the universe and some otherworldly gas. Time to get absolutely shrecked. Cause I hate to break it to you, but if your homie ever tells you something like that, the universal knowledge is probably just the mushrooms he ate, and that other worldly gas is referring to the moon rock he bought at the dispensary. And going and smoking with that friend, however much you like him, probably isn't a good reason, especially cause it's a Tuesday morning, and you know, you should probably go to work, and maybe set up an intervention for him. Man's doesn't seem to be in a good place. Anyway, overusing psychedelics and ruining your life aside, the best reason to get high in my opinion is when you plan it ahead and have a mega sesh with your homies. This one is basically the same as the first reason, but even better because it combines both banter with your friends and the lowest chance of Xi anxiety because the fade is planned ahead, therefore your brain already scheduled a server maintenance for that time, allowing you to drop IQ points without worrying about a situation arising where you need them. And it really is hard to be lighting one up with the people you enjoy talking and listening to, cause although technically getting Getting high will never be the best move you can make to achieve your goals and shit. If you smoke up for reasons such as listed in this video, I promise you, aside from the health implications it might have, the za won't affect your life negatively, but rather give you a break from your daily grind and make you slow down a bit to appreciate everything you have. So remember to smoke up responsibly and watch the video on the screen. Peace.